everyone, I'm Sarah and I've got a cut garden dress pattern. It's called the cut garden dress because it's designed for cut work and it's got all these garden, you know, flowers, butterflies, leaves, all that stuff. Um, of course, you don't have to do cut work, but this is how you lay out the fabric. These are the various options that you lay out your fabric so that you can make this dress. So all of the options, you're gonna have a fully lined bodice because of how the dress is created. It's created using that bodice ring method that I love so much and I go into detail in the construction video on that, on how to do that. But I love this thing and it's gonna be fully lined regardless unless you really take this around with it and you know if you're if you're knowledgeable in sewing then you can alter it and have it not be fully lined but that's how it's designed now you have the option with that bodice overlay that you can make this just a single layer of fabric or you can have the bodice overlay fully lined that's completely up to you and how you want that bodice overlay to look and just how you want to sew her together hey guys so I am looking through this video I'm in my office editing that's where I do my editing these days um, and I'm realizing that I left one detail out about that bodice overlay when you're cutting the bodice overlay out if you are doing the unlined version of the bodice overlay then you will cut out the entire perimeter of the pattern okay so let's focus on, on that back tab that's what I'm talking about that's where I left out this detail when we're talking about that back tab facing part you will cut out the entire like the the outermost line, the entire perimeter of it, okay? Because you're gonna need all of that to be able to fold that facing part back on itself and be able to, to enclose those raw edges. And I go over two different methods on how to do this in the construction video. On the flip side, if you are doing the lining portion, the lining um, option of the bodice overlay, then what you're gonna do is fold the first part of the tab over until you get to that next solid line and that's where you're going to be cutting out your bodice overlay and that will give you a quarter inch seam allowance to sew you know that back um, vertical part and be able to enclose the raw edges because you have a lining there so you're going to be sewing the two together with the lining, again, I go over this in more detail in the construction video, but that is where you would cut. So there's two different ways to do this. First way is if you are unlined, you're gonna cut out the entire thing. Second way is that if it's lined, you fold over that pattern till you get to the second solid line, and then that's where you're gonna be cutting out. I hope that makes sense. The other thing is that you could have that skirt lined as well. And when you go to line the skirt, you can do it. I've done it both ways. You can do it so the garment skirt is stays separate from the lining skirt. So that means that, you know, like the hems are, you've got two separate hems. And when it twirls, you've got two different layers that are not connected. I mean, they're going to be connected at the waist because they're both sewn into the dress. But they're not connected, um, they're not connected on the hem. The other way you can do it is that you can use that, um, if you have a fully lined skirt, you can use the line of the skirt to hem the dress. So you would put things right sides together and then sew around your dress. And I go into that in, in more detail in the construction video. So those are just some food for thoughts of, of what your, you know, the, your, the line options. When it comes to cutting out this circle skirt, so you will see that your pattern piece has a half circle. So if you do all the embroidery design, you would just take that half circle and flip her over, and then that would be the other half circle, and then you'd have your embroidery work all the way around the skirt. Are you with me? With this, you, that allows you to have two options. I just put a line at the quarter mark of the circle because I thought, well, why not? There's pros and cons to cutting out on a half circle and on a quarter circle. So if we go the half circle route, well now you're just folding your fabric over in half, okay? Like you would match up your selvage edges and then line up your skirt on the fold and that would just be one fold because you have a half skirt. So you're gonna have a half skirt on the top of that fabric and a half skirt on the bottom. You've got two halves, two halves, make a hole. You with me? The other thing is that you could take that half piece of fabric and then fold it in half again. So now you've got a quarter, right? You've got four different layers of fabric. 
Well, four quarters, again, makes the whole. So either way, you get back to that whole 360 degree circle. So if you do the half skirt method, now you're cutting around a larger circumference so you have more to cut around, but it's easier to line up because you're only having one fold line. If you do the quarter skirt method, then you, it's easier to cut because you're only cutting a quarter of the circumference and you know, you're, you're done cutting, but it's a little bit more tricky to line up two folds. You with me? So there's pros and cons, but those are the two options you have when cutting out this circle skirt. So there's a couple clip marks that's gonna help you as you sew this dress together. And really these clip marks are just on the sleeve. So the bottom of the sleeve you'll see there's kind of like three places. There's two little lines and then there's um, where the third line would have been is on the placket. And these are just to help you kind of adjust your gathers evenly because that whole bottom edge of the sleeve is designed to be gathered so it's just to help you in that process. The same thing goes with the top of the sleeve. So the top of the sleeve the whole thing is designed to be gathered although it's sewing so you do you. You can put the gathers where you want them. But I've got um, I've got marked the front of the sleeve as well as the back of the sleeve. It's not symmetrical um, which is a good thing for you to know as you're inserting it into uh, into your dress. But it also you can use those clip marks um, or however you mark them, whether they're clip marks or a, um, whether they're clip marks or like a erasable pen. And you can use those areas to adjust the gathers. And there's also a mark at the top of the sleeve. So you can match that top of the sleeve mark to where the shoulder seam is on your dress. Now last but certainly not least when it comes to cutting out these pattern pieces is I've given the layout for if you want to make the entire dress out of one, you know, the same piece of fabric. Now if you want, and I want you truly to take this and run with it, there is no judging here. So if you want to use a separate, you know, a different fabric for the bodice than you do for the sleeve, than you do for the overlay, than you do for the skirt, I am not one to judge. If that makes you happy, then you go and you do it. And I have given you the information for you to do this. So you can see on the layout sheet that I um, show you like how to do that and how much fabric you would need. It's also on the back of the envelope, how much fabric you would need if you want to go like the a la carte route, which is what I'm calling it. So um, yeah, I just, I'm, I'm excited to see all of the various options that people come up with with this dress. And if you have any questions, if you want to send them down in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. And as always, I appreciate y'all for watching and I hope to catch y'all next time.